If I jumped down all the way to my repository layer, I had something really interesting happening when I was looking at the command. So this is the code here that was going to end up returning no users matching and that we were going to get a null finally in the end. So why were we getting no users? Well, when I was looking at the command that was getting set up here, I could see that one of the parameters was being set up incorrectly. It turns out that one of the parameters, instead of being a string that I was expecting, was a little bit more of a complex type, and it's the one of type. And if you don't know what the one of type is, that's totally cool. It's a really popular package we can use, and in fact, I've rolled my own version of this that I use for result types and getting exceptions or return type back. The one of type allows us to pass around a type that can be one or more types, and it sounds a little bit weird, but the reason I do this is because I have different scenarios where I want to handle something like a string, an integer, or maybe a generic object. And it's not a really common thing for me to do, but in this particular case, I have a filtering library that I've created myself. And that filtering library, the types of values that I want to be able to support, I use the one of type to be able to allow myself to have one or more types of data that I can filter on. In this particular case, I'm looking at metadata, and the metadata could be a string, it could be an integer, it could be something else. And in this case, the email address is a string. So what should be happening inside of this filtering code is that the string is getting passed in as the SQL parameter. But in fact, what's happening is the whole one of type, the instance of that one of type, is getting passed into SQL. So it's going, does anything match this one of type? I don't even know how the SQL driver is attempting to serialize that over to the SQL database, but it's never going to match. The concept doesn't even make sense inside of SQL. So of course there's no match. So the fix for this was actually super simple. All right, if I jump into my filtering code, this line 60 is where the issue was. And it might not be totally obvious, so I'll explain it. But this entry here is a key value pair. So the issue is that the value that goes into this part of the parameter is a one of type. So this part that I'm highlighting right here can either be a string or a nullable boolean. And the reason I'm doing that in my filtering is that I can either match a string in particular or use the boolean to suggest whether or not we expect the metadata. But the issue was that this line didn't read quite like this. It was simply missing this extra dot value call. So unfortunately what was happening was the entire one of instance was being passed in. If I added this dot value in, it's now passing in the true value of what one of was representing. So if it was a string, the string would get passed in. 